last time we talked, I was struggling. Work was going unsmooth. It has smoothed up a little bit. I'm feeling a little bit better. So we're gonna take advantage of that today and we're gonna write some music. Let's get this done. Let's get some good stuff done. Half the battle is just getting started. So let's get started, put some stuff on paper and then see how it goes. The day Amiibos came out, I went to a Toys R Us near Brian's house and I bought Samus, Fox, and Villager right here. We've been sitting up on this shelf for a very long time. I managed to mostly resist the Amiibo craze even though they're so beautiful and just such nice little trinkets. So I mostly just got the ones I really wanted. However, they have been restocking Amiibos and I just, I can't help myself. And I've mostly still stuck to ones that I really want to get, but you know I had to get this Ocarina of Time Link variant. Playing the Ocarina, my favorite Zelda game, come on. Anyways, with all that preamble out of the way, we have here the final amiibo for the Smash Brothers game, Sora. I like them sealed, but I also like them loose. I can't decide. They look so nice and pristine in these boxes. Woo! Okay, look at this game. Do you understand that this is the type of game that I want. I want to play in a world that does not exist in our world. Look at this perfect mixture of the natural environments and civilization. Just a city on the water with a cannon sticking out and then just a slum underneath the other city. And then there's just great music to go along with it. Interesting characters with giant swords and you're adventuring across a giant landscape. It just appeals to me so precisely. How do I get more of this? This is a huge undertaking to make a game like this, but how come there's just not many games that are like this? There's lots of other games that are like close to what I would really want. Like, man, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I don't know, just my sensibilities. It's like they plucked exactly what I wanted out of my mind and then put it on the screen. You know, I don't think I've ever explicitly said it before, but is it clear that when I open the window, that means it's a new day? I assume it's kind of obvious, but maybe it's not. I don't know. I'll weirdly get on like these food kicks every now and then. And let me tell you, these little Noosa yogurts, like what is this brand, Noosa? Strawberry rhubarb? Who would have thought that I'd be like, oh, yo, I want some of that. Strawberry rhubarb yogurt. <laughs> That's good though. You know, there's plenty of things that I consider to be a waste of time. Watching movies and TV shows is not one of them. I recently discovered the magic of Plex. I had heard of Plex before and I knew vaguely that it was like your own streaming library, but it is so amazing. You can take all of your old DVDs and all of your old Blu-rays, you put them on your computer, and then you have your own personal Netflix that will never have any of the videos leave. The quality is better because you're ripping it from an actual Blu-ray. It is just fantastic. And I'm not sure what took me this long to finally set up my own Plex server, but I've been busy ripping all of my old discs. And I think what finally pushed me to do it is I got so tired of Netflix and your Hulus and whatnot, always removing stuff. I'm getting sidetracked though. I don't find movies and TV shows to be a waste of time for many reasons, but one of them is that I produce visual entertainment for a living. So if I said that it was a waste of time to watch these things, that would be kind of insane. Although, you know, I'm sure there's people who make cigarettes who don't smoke cigarettes and are perfectly happy for other people to smoke cigarettes and ruin their health. You know another great thing about Plex is that it doesn't waste my time with all of these anti-piracy warnings that DVDs and Blu-rays give you. I cannot for the life of me understand why they do that to the customers who are actually paying for their product. When the people who pirate it don't have to watch those. It's like you're punishing the people who are paying you. So with Plex, I can just press play on Ace Ventura Pet Detective and it'll just start playing. I don't have to watch any piracy screens. I don't have to worry anymore that, oh, I gotta watch that on Netflix before it goes away. I just find it so weird, the different things that we consider a waste of time. 
and how it's so malleable. Just, I'll never get over the fact that people encourage you to read books and they discourage you to watch movies and TV shows. I understand that you can get a lot out of books and it engages your mind more, but at the end of the day, you're just consuming. You can have books that you get a lot out of and books you get nothing out of or even detract from your life, and the same thing for movies and TV shows. Then again, maybe the medium does kind of matter because I'm sure there are many very interesting TikToks that you can get a lot out of and are very like healthy to watch. But the format that it's delivered in is just so addictive that how are you supposed to just watch one? How are you supposed to get the positive benefits of seeing a good TikTok without the negative benefits of having it just fed into your brain I make YouTube videos for a living. And I think there are plenty of YouTube videos that are like really worth your time. Even stuff like camera reviews. I think those are fun to watch. People put a lot of effort into making them. And if you're like GX Ace, you do like these incredibly creative camera reviews. All of that is fine. It's kind of just what I was saying about TikToks. It's the way things are delivered that can make it a waste of time. What I consider to be a real waste of time is when I'm just hitting that slot machine to try and find the next thing. It's like, oh, come on, show me, show me the video that's gonna like fill the hole in your soul. You know what I'm saying? What's pretty funny though is I will be sitting here at my computer and I'll be like, oh yeah, I should go like do a little sweeping of this room and like tidying up. And I'll be like, no, that's a waste of time. I should be working. And then just unconsciously, I'll spend like 20 minutes just like browsing the internet, looking for a morsel of novelty. When if I had just gone and swept the room instead, that would have been a way better use of my time. I don't consider sweeping a waste of time at all. It's very satisfying, a nice little room. Sometimes it's still procrastination, but... It's still better than other forms of wasting your time. I wanna clarify though that I don't think you should always be doing things and always be focusing. I actually think that's why this happens is that our brains naturally just kinda of wanna scan the environment and look for novelty because that's probably served us throughout human history very well. It's only now that we have things like the internet that have kinda of just hijacked that part of our brain and they just do such an effective job at grabbing our attention and then just not letting go. I more or less still want to exercise, but God, running is just really boring to me right now. I think I just need to mix it up more. Speaking of novelty, I just get bored of doing one type of exercise all the time. There's always just some form of wanting or lacking being a human. Oh, this is just a little bit too cold. It's too hot. It's too cold. You know what's pretty fun to think about is that you are a character in somebody else's life. I run basically the same running route every day and I'm always wearing this hat, this blue jacket, and these bright yellow shoes. And I'm sure to the other people in the neighborhood, they're like, oh, there's that dude with the yellow shoes running again. And you would think that I would see other characters more often, but I don't see the same people that often when I'm running, but they are clearly not dressed as distinctively as I am. Anyway, that's probably gonna do it for today's vlog. Thank you very much for watching. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth comes out in less than seven days. I've resisted playing most of the Junon demo because even though I know the full story beats, clearly they're going to change things. And I also want to experience all of this fresh for the first time. I don't want to be replaying segments and then when I get to that, feeling like I'm just replaying something. I want it to be fresh, fresh and clean, outcast. But like I said, thanks for watching. Hope you have a good one. See you in the next one.
The day the Amiibos came out. The day the Amiibos went out. The day the Amiibos came out. The day Amiibos came out, I went to our attention and then just not letting go.